Do you really want to say, we're going to make everybody have a big military, but we're not going to help anybody build their own future and change their own lives? I don't think so. That's right. The new best buds, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, scolded the current president for essentially doing what they could not or did not, would not take NATO to task for their decades of free riding on the United States. To discuss the latest edition of The Globalist Striking Back, let's bring in Dinesh D'Souza, whose new documentary, Death of a Nation, comes out August 3rd. Everyone's very excited. His book as well. Dinesh, it's a little low, I think, isn't it, to take shots at the president while he's abroad? Even, you know, we know what they were talking about. They didn't mention him by name, but come on. Well, the very fact that two guys who ran against each other uh, from opposite parties can come together like this shows how Trump has changed the political cartography, the whole map of international relations. Now, in a sense, this should have been done uh, in 1992 when the Soviet Union collapsed because the, the whole NATO alliance was assembled uh, for the purposes of anti-communism. In fact, some of it even goes back to World War II. The reason we pay for the defense of places like Germany and even Japan is we were afraid of them, those countries remilitarizing in the way that they did in the 30s and 40s. So uh, an accounting, a re-examination is long overdue. It took an outsider, Trump, to do it. And to watch these uh, old geezers uh, complain about it, these guys have been like toy soldiers who walk into the wall and keep going. They, the 